There he is. Welcome to paradise. What's up, brother? Coming in the morning, go over today's operation. You're the only female in this business, huh? Yes. You have to have a strong backbone dealing with all these men. Yes. My dad and I are up there. So Your dad's beating you. Oh yeah, he's crushing you right now. Yeah. But old man still has game. <laughs> so he was the certified Aquascape contractor of the year, 2016, and it was basically because what he has done for the program. Going to see some ponds. Love it. Love my job. award-winning service certified aquascape contractors this is my buddy dave from pondscapes of charlotte there he is welcome to, the, welcome to paradise what's up brother how's it going <laughs> good to see you okay dave bloxham we have known each other for a couple of years right yeah about 15 or so he is a firmware certified aquascape contractor of the year and this is uh i've been here once before this is your warehouse right yep warehouse and office and everything else we do been in this location about four years hey what's up and there's the brawn behind the operation. How you doing? <laughs> this is Bradley, and he is uh, 24? 24 years old, that's right. And it took him 23 years to figure it out, but I think he's got it figured out right now. Almost. He's almost there. Yeah, buddy. Okay. <laughs> this is great. So this is the morning ritual, my man? Oh, yeah. We're just getting everybody ready at the shop. How many vehicles do you have? Four trucks and a trailer. Okay. And that's it. We, that's the only equipment we have. We rent everything else. And then how many guys? Six guys all together. A lady in the office and our plant expert. Oh, you do you do have a, a, a secretary, yeah. uh, administrative? And then we have Sally takes care of all the books. Okay, so a total of eight and a half people? Yeah. And we got the office here. We got all the guys in here. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? How are you doing? What do you do? Watching YouTube or something? <laughs> yeah, man. So we come in in the morning, go over today's operation. We actually put our numbers up on the board once a uh, once a month. After we do that, we send crews out. Ken is our, our VIP service man. He takes care of monthly service. So who's your longest teammate? Ken. Well, Bradley. Bradley was acting. This is a... <laughs> That's Bradley. When, when I was building upon that that, you, that that we saw out front of the house. But Ken's been... Uh, employed the longest. You're the only female in this business, huh? Yes. You have to have a strong backbone dealing with all these men. Yes. I got a beautiful gift wrap frog yesterday. You, you did, <laughs> huh? Surely well, did. you don't get that at every job, do <laughs> no, you? I don't. No, I don't. How often do you guys meet as a team? Every day. Every day. Every day in the morning at yeah. what time? Seven? Seven o'clock. We got our goals that we want to make each month. You know, how much money we want to bring into the company. And then these are just the upsells for the guys when they're in the field and they're talking to the customer about what they need. Add-ons like lights, eye engines, stuff like that. Ken just sold a, what, $30,000 rebuild or something on Saturday, right? Yes. And he's proud as hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of confetti going on behind him. The people that aren't up here, the guys, on their own split the commissions mm -hmm. as they see fit to make sure that they can upsell when the guys are working. Okay, outstanding. So very nice of them. My dad and I are up there. We don't get the commission and we kind of get the bigger leads and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's a little different than upsell. Your dad's beating you. Oh yeah, he's crushing me right now. Yeah. But Old man still has game. <laughs> Got pictures of the old man building ponds. That's Ken. <laughs> Big basalt rock? Uh, no, it's a bench rock. But then this is Chrissy building pots here. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, I assumed, maybe incorrectly, that you were like the office. Not all the time. I well, you'll do whatever it takes to get it done. Yeah, I sold a couple of pond lists with uh, Bradley. Wow. You don't, you don't get a jacket like this if you work in the office. And engraved with my name. I like it. Now, who's the best waterfall artist here? It's 2016, but Carlos wins every year. <laughs> <laughs> well, this
this is just impressive that you guys have daily meetings. It's a good way to start a day, you know, around people you like, you know, work with people you like. So we want to enjoy our day. But we know once we leave here, it's time to get to work. Hey. Thanks a lot. Oh, go ahead, huh? Okay. One, two, two, three, 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 three. All right. Guys are already getting ready to leave, getting on their way. I uh, just want to go over inside what we got here. We're short right now, but we got a bag of uh, three quarter inch gravel coming, one to three inch, five to eight, and then topsoil. If we have small jobs, we'll just take out buckets of gravel rather than uh, have the bags delivered. Get our deliveries right here. Uh, this is the next job, starts tomorrow. The installation crew will take that tomorrow to start on the installation trailer should be stocked. We try and keep the inventory as low as we possibly can because we have a great distributor, Smith Turf and Irrigation. They uh, will get us the product within a day if they don't have it. If they do have it, they'll get it that day. We have the trailer and the truck stocked with pumps, but we keep one pump in stock so that they can come in and restock their, their trucks immediately and then uh, Chrissy calls in the inventory every day. These are the items that we need. We put the uh, customer's name, star if it's already been ordered, anything we get from Lowe's. The VIP service is separate so that we know how much uh, we're spending on VIP. I really like to keep virtually no inventory, one of everything if, if I uh -huh. could, but because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we have everything in the trucks. Bradley, explain why your dad got that award. This bad boy? Yes. <laughs> You were in the front row. So I was in the front row, row with uh, my dad and my other coworker, Josh. I see Greg walking down the side and was like, you know, just stay tuned for this. Like, we're gonna get your dad. It was a great time, you know. My, you know, so I was the, very proud. So he was the certified Aquascape Contractor of the Year in uh, 2016. And it was basically because what he has uh, um, done for the program. So the CAC of the year is the guy who best represents the spirit of the certified operatives contractors, which is helping other people. And Dave, you got it that year and you still enjoy it. Why, why do you enjoy helping other certified contractors? When I started out, there was a guy, he was the first CAC ever, lead vote. And I went to Pondemonium and I didn't, I wanted to stay in my room and watch TV, didn't want to go down to a bar and socialize and do all this networking that I knew I had to do. Mm -hmm. And I went down there and Lee Boat said, uh, stick with me this week and I'll take care of you. Amen. And, and it just made it so easy. So from that point on, I pick somebody who's brand new and say, stick with me and we'll uh, take care of you this week. Going to see some ponds. Love it. Love my job. Dave has a technique to get the lady of the house to do the dishes. So in his house, what he did is he put stunning, beautiful waterfalls outside his kitchen window. And Dave, you never have to do the dishes now, right? Because you built the waterfall. That's right. That's a joke. Don't get mad. Don't say anything in the comments. Uh, the Look at how beautiful that is. Dishwasher does the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> I love walking up on a water feature at night. I've actually never seen this water feature at night. This is at Dave Bloxham's house, Pondscapes. And look at the water quality. Look at the clarity there. You can see the lily and lotus pockets are just starting to grow up with the plants in there. Look at this. Waterfall all the way up there. And this is the front door of the house. And this is what you pass over when you walk in. How sweet is this? 
pond is just waking up for the year here in early spring out in the Charlotte area. Gabe, how did you first get started with Aquascape? I put in a pond myself after going to Disney World. I went okay. to Disney World and I saw a natural water feature and I said, man, I am doing that in my yard. And my sister-in-law out in Denver, Colorado, called me and said, Dave, I'd like for you to uh, come out and build me a pond. She uh -huh. had developed pancreatic cancer. She said, I want you to come out and build it. I said, it took me six months to build my pond. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I said, I gotta figure out how to do this in a couple of days. Found Aquascape through a catalog that my father got at his sportsman's club. So it was really a motivation to actually help a family member right. that got you to build ponds for somebody else. Right. Not just yourself. And I went out, I built the pond three days by myself, finished it, and it looked better than my pond at home. Right. Because I used the Aquascape system. You were building that water feature for her while you were working for US Airways, right? Correct. You were a guy that had a full-time job that just had a passion for water features. Exactly. Built one for yourself and then and then donated one for an ailing family member. Yeah, she, want, she wanted it and she said, uh, Dave, my, my water feature is incredible. You gotta come, you, you gotta do this for other people. And I'm like, I got a job. One day sitting, you know, working at US Air, I get a call from Pam. She says, Dave, I'm on my chemo. And all I can do is watch my soap operas and sit by my pond. Why would I go inside to watch a TV when I have who knows how long left to live when I could sit by my pond? Amen. That day I said, I have the power now to change people's lives. I quit US Air. Wow. And after 20 years, uh -huh. and went out and started to build ponds. It wasn't that easy because my wife said, what are you gonna do after the five people in Charlotte that want ponds get ponds? Uh -huh. then, then what are you gonna do? Uh -huh. I said, I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. And it wasn't easy. I couldn't have done it without my wife uh -huh. supporting me. Got through hard times, you know, yep. in the beginning, like every business does, and uh, in spite of me, <laughs> this, it, it's well, been an incredible success. Hard work and perseverance can get you what you want. There's a system to follow, and if you can find a system to follow in whatever you do, and that's what I did, I, I, I got that catalog, I went out to Colorado, put the pond in for my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, that was 10 times easier than my pond, even though it worked to bone to do it in three days, yep. it was still 10 times easier. Because you were putting the 20 products in 20 steps. Exactly. The thing that I like about Aquascapes is they're a manufacturer, but they actually train. They help you like they're a business coach. The best way to describe it is it's a franchise without a franchise fee. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know enough about business when I started this thing. I followed the system. And you're at pretty much every training event that we have. I mean, you come, how many years have you come to Pondemonium now? Uh, 15 probably. Why do you come to Pondemonium every year? I come to Pondemonium because I learn more from the other contractors than you, I could learn anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. These guys are doing it, they're doing different things, and all you, all you do is you talk and you trade ideas. You go to any other organization and they're trying to hide secrets from you. Tell me what happens that a contractor does not succeed because they think they know a better way. There's a successful way to do it, and they think they, their way is a better way. And they go an uh, unproven method. Well, and here you are a success because you're employing nine people. You got your son who you're grooming. You're a, a CAC of the year, a perennial top 20 frog. You're a living testament to what following the system, following the plan is. And if you could do it, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Straight from Dave Bloxham here out in Pondscapes of Charlotte. What an absolute pleasure, man. Thanks, man. Really always Thank appreciate you. spending time with you. Thank you for everything. Thanks. Um, Sleeping on the job. Uh, um, hey, they're working. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Three feet deep.